Hi, Big Tractor Power fans. May 14th, 2020 marks the 35th anniversary of the last International Harvester tractor being produced at the company's Farmall Works in Rock Island, Illinois. On November 26th, 1984, Tenneco, the parent company of J.I. Case, acquired the agricultural division of International Harvester. The new company became known as Case International, and today Case IH continues the tradition of building red power tractors. The IH in Case IH represents International Harvester, which traces its roots back to 1831 when Cyrus McCormick perfected the horse-drawn reaper. This machine built one of the largest companies in the world. In August of 1902, the McCormick Harvesting Machine Company and the Deering Harvester Company merged, acquiring the Milwaukee Harvesting Machine Company, Plano Manufacturing, Wardner, Bushnell, and Glessner, manufacturers of the Champion brand, all on one day. The new company that was formed was named International Harvester. Immediately following the 1902 multi-company merger, International Harvester became the largest farm equipment manufacturer in the world, offering harvest machinery, tillage equipment, and seeding tools. The company continued to innovate industry-leading farm equipment through the 20th century. In 1923, International Harvester introduced the popular Farmall tractor, and by 1930, the company had manufactured 100,000 Farmall tractors at its tractor plant in Rock Island, Illinois. International Harvester continued to grow, and by the mid-1940s, the company was the 33rd largest manufacturer in the United States. By 1974, the company built its 5 millionth Farmall tractor. International Harvester celebrated its 150th anniversary in 1981. The company had grown to become one of the largest manufacturers and brands in the world. It built everything from tractors and combines to semi-trucks, SUVs, pickup trucks. It had built air conditioners, refrigerators, bulldozers, payloaders, and many other industrial-sized machines. In 1981, as the company was celebrating 150 years, it was manufacturing tractors from 350 horsepower all the way down to 8 horsepower with the popular Cub Cadet line of lawn and garden tractors and mowers. Unfortunately, global events in wheat markets, high interest rates, and droughts in the United States led to the downfall of International Harvester in the early 1980s. High interest rates and a poor farm economy led to the company selling off many of its divisions. And by 1984, the agriculture division, which included tractors, combines, tillage equipment, and planting machines, was sold to Tenneco. Tenneco merged the company with its own tractor brand, J.I. Case, and Case International was formed to continue on the legacy of Red Power Tractors. With the creation of Case International, row crop tractor manufacturing shifted from the Farmall Works in Rock Island, Illinois, to Racine, Wisconsin. On May 14, 1985, the last Farmall built tractor, a 187 horsepower International 5488 tractor, rolled off the historic farm equipment maker's line. International Harvester built many popular and historic tractors, and I'd like to hear in the comments section below this video what your all-time favorite international tractor is, or stories you have about farming with IH tractors, or ones that you own today. I'm going to count down my 10 favorite international tractors that I've been able to film over the years, and I hope that you'll enjoy hearing and seeing these big red tractors at work out in the field.
I hope that you've enjoyed seeing and hearing these international harvester tractors at work out in the field. And again, I'd like to hear what your all-time favorite red tractors are in the comment section below. And if you would like to see more videos like this one, consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube, where there's over 1,000 videos of farm machines in action. As always, thank you for watching.